Hey everybody, welcome back to the Create tutorial. Today we're going to continue with our assistant tool series and go over two options today because there's no need to split them into two different videos because one is probably one of the simplest options we could possibly get besides the ellipse tool. So we're going to go to our assistant tool option over here on the left and go to the right to the two options and we're going to go to infinite ruler. So this is pretty self-explanatory, but we're going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to make a very small ruler here. I'm going to go back to my brush and you can see that the line just can oops, snap to assistant just keeps going. Okay. So if I make this bigger, make it bigger, there we go. It just keeps going. So even though my actual assistant tool is very small, it extends as far as I want for the canvas. Technically, it's infinite, right? So if I wanted to expand the canvas, I should crop that, make sure I have put image, canvas, and row. There we go. You can see, let me move my reference here, that the line had kept going, even though we didn't see it. So if you need, for whatever reason, a line or a stroke or something that just keeps going, and you need to extend it off the canvas and so that way you can go and revise it later if you need to resize the canvas or anything like that this would be the assistant tool to use i'm going to undo that because this file would be too big for something like that all right so i'm just going to delete that Oops. make a new layer so i don't ruin this the next one is going to be another ruler but it's a parallel ruler so it's going to make your strokes parallel to the reference or the reference line that you make. So I would want it probably around here. I'm going to move it there and I'm going to make this a dark blue and just kind of lower the opacity a bit. So, oops. And I'm going to actually make this that blue. So as you can see, I am making multiple lines that are parallel to each other, but in the same direction. And you can go ahead and move this if you wanted to. So this would probably be better for this one right here. So if I just wanted a quick dramatic speed line going over here, I could do that. And then go back and erase just around the character. There we go. And it's just, it's made my work a little bit easier here. So I don't have to use a actual line each time or pretend to make a straight line um, with, oops, with an actual stroke, right? So it gives it more consistency. All right, so similar to the two point perspective, we can actually limit this to the assistant area. So I'm gonna go ahead and make so I'm going to go ahead and make my line here I'm going to hit shift and I have my extra point that I can make my box in. So this purple line is the boundary. I'm going to actually make this a little darker so you can see it or dark blue. Go into my brush tool, snap to assistance. So what I found interesting with this one is it doesn't actually block anything outside the boundary that we blocked off. However, I can draw normally, even though snap to assistance is on, but within, but within the box here, I can't. So once I go out of here, I can scribble like normal, but within this range that I uh, created for the parallel tool, I can't. It's straight parallel lines only. So if you want to just separate your parallel lines from the rest of it. So let's say I got the lines in there. I want to go back and I want to refine um, this character here that I have created. I can go ahead and do that and then go back here without having to turn the snap to assistant tool or option on and off. So if for whatever reason you need to do that, you can go ahead and do that. And that's it for the parallel ruler and the infinite ruler. 
If you have any questions about these two features, let me know in the comments below. If you learned something, also let me know. Make sure to like the video if it helped you out and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next videos. We will be going over the perspective tool in the next video. Thanks for watching and I will see you then.